To configure the places that you want to see in the widget, you must open the clock app and switch to the clock tab. Then press the balloon button and use the search engine at the top to find the city you want to add to the list. You can repeat this process to add as many cities as you want, although keep in mind that the widget space is limited, so only the first ones will be seen. If you need to reorder the list, you can do it with a long tab on one of the cities. Then it's time to add the widget to your launcher. The process may change slightly depending on the launcher you use, although in most cases you will have to do a long touch, press widgets and find the Google Clock applications widget. Google Clock today has two widgets, an analog and a digital clock. You must use the second because the analog clock widget will simply show you the time in the current place, ignoring the rest of the cities. Now comes the most curious part. After adding the widget, the most normal thing is that you only see the time in your current place, but the widget is prepared to show the time in all additional cities as long as it has space to do so. That means that you need to resize the widget to make it bigger so that the current time in all other cities is visible. The way to do this may be slightly different depending on the launcher you use. In some, you must make a long touch to be able to move it and resize it. On others, you must do a long touch and choose resize. As you make the widget bigger, the rows with the time in the rest of the cities that you have configured in the clock application will begin to appear. The current time in your time slot is large, while the rest are in columns, smaller. The bigger the widget, the more it shows.